Hello and welcome back RBG family and friends. Today we are outside in the chicken run and we are bringing you guys an update on the chickens. They are about six months or going to be six months at this point and we have an amazing list here of things that I want to update you guys on. They are a little bit um, upset at me. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning and I did not bring them any treats to kind of calm them down. So they are rather chatty. So just enjoy their little chat that they are having amongst themselves or probably just screaming at me. But um, grab a snack because this is going to be quite a long one because it's been a while since I've kind of updated you guys um, and it's been uh, quite a while since I brought you guys a video but we can go you know into that uh, later on um, these are the girls that I have with me now and I will explain that to you guys um, a little bit further down so this is what we have um, we have Gina uh, trying to check out uh, the outdoor nesting box uh, they really don't use that one as much I feel that the hens because um, that's what we're calling them at this point I think that they are all laying um, if I'm not mistaken probably maybe just one I'm not sure because um, I can't distinguish uh, all of their eggs to which hen at this point especially my white ones because they all lay white eggs obviously but Miss Gina is obviously always curious about the outdoor one um, as you see her go in it right now she really just likes to play with the fresh flakes we uh, came out here yesterday when I say we, it was me and both of my kids because I needed their their help. I mean, I need help from anybody at all times. But yesterday specifically, I just recently came out of a surgery. So um, I need assistance. Um, so we just put down uh, fresh flakes yesterday because this here was really muddy and gross. Here in the Bronx, New York, we've been experiencing a lot of wet weather. Um, and we are going to be going into more wet weather soon. Today is a bit crisp. Um, it is, I think, about 36 degrees as we speak. Um, it's not cold that is bothering me. I'm a little dressed up to be out here with them, but it doesn't seem that it bothers them anyway, right? <laughs> Um, but um, they have their feed, which is breakfast. Um, we did um, change out their little dust bath here, which is just a mixture of, <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me, which is a mixture of um, diatomaceous earth and some Saturday lime. Uh, just to keep, you know, all the dust mice and etc. that they can get on their coat. Um, and as you can see, one of them is probably enjoying it. I don't know. Sometimes they peck at it. I hope it's safe enough for them to, you know, whatever. Um, but Jerry is my most chattiest girl. She does that at all times. I swear she's always laying an egg. But she, she's, I don't know. My son was like, uh, are we sure she's a girl? I'm like, yeah, she's a girl. She must be part rooster at some point. But whatever. But, you know, they have a very deep um, bedding here, uh, which hopefully keeps their um, little chicken legs nice and warm. But they pick it up, they play with it, and they do everything with it as they do with their food. I swear they destroy half of their food and know what they eat, but it is what it is. Uh, the water situation is still the same. The only difference is that we actually put a heating plate on it. Um, I haven't need to use it as much. I only used it once 
and um, that was when we actually did down to I think it was 25 degrees and I actually came out here and the water in the actual cups was frozen solid the inside was not actually frozen but the cups was actually frozen and I had to break it so I actually put it on the bottom and I attached a portable it's okay we'll wait for you you're done <laughs> I attached a portable battery that we have inside that's always charging and uh, kept it on um, all night long to make sure that the water it's not that the water was kept warm but at least it was kept um, thawed out to make sure that it did not freeze um, other than that in here everything is pretty much the same we always try to keep you know their roasting bar here nice and cleaned up and um, with a coating of the um, Saturday line because you know their poop can attract all those nasty uh, stuff and we don't want that on their uh, feather coat so we want them as healthy as possible because these are my girls you know what I'm saying and we got to take care of them so moving along they are all pretty much at this point like I'm saying showing signs that they want to accept the rooster which is a sign that we all want to see because that means that they are starting to cycle and um, giving us eggs and like I said at this point I think you know we are receiving eggs from all of them um, and we don't have a rooster so there's no worries in that part um so there is an elephant in the room that i do want to talk to you guys about and that um i'm the most saddened for it. so is my husband my kids don't really interact too much with them um but if they're all in frame right now and if you can count they're six um, and if you've really paid attention to any of my videos, I'm not saying that you guys haven't, but I started my flock with seven. Um, over here, we have Gina. Look, I started off wrong. Over here, we have Gina. We have Freckles. We have Eleanor. Jeanette's over there. This is Brittany and Jerry. I have sad news to state that we lost Chicken Little. Um, what happened to her, I can't state. Um, as I'm talking to you guys, my eyes are really tearing. Um, my girl here, Freckles, I don't know if she's, what is it that you call out in chicken world um the leader of the flock i guess i i really don't know i really haven't um it's not that i don't sit out here with them and like try to figure out who's you know establishing pecking order or not we do have these nanny cams i have two out here in the run i have one inside of the um, actual coop and i do pay attention to them you know when they're um sitting in their roosting bars uh here as you see um they have different levels inside they're pretty much all the same my husband tried to put one higher not much um just to see like what's going on but my girl here freckles as much as i love her um you guys can see from day one of the videos of me bringing them home freckles always took on like um a warming to me uh but freckles kind of bullied chicken little to the point that she made her bleed one day that i came out here was the day that the water was frozen um so i'm kind of attributing attributing it to that um owner's error i guess i didn't catch it on time i don't know what it is um uh, but chicken little i'm assuming healed from that i cleaned her up and everything went well from there i saw a lot of videos i followed um protocols for the videos that I um, saw, I um, isolated um, freckles to kind of break the chain of the pecking order. I introduced her back to the flock and the bullying stopped. I felt that Chicken Little healed um, and everything was fine. 
I don't recall how many days or weeks after that, but everything went fine. My husband would let um, the flock free range um, a little bit. I don't have a big backyard. You guys have seen my backyard. Um, I'm showing you guys a little glimpse of it right now. It's obviously bare. There's not much for them to get into. Uh, those leaves that you see are from um, a neighboring tree I don't have trees in my backyard um, and I don't know what she might have gotten into um, I don't spread poison or anything in my backyard because I have dog I have dog that he also comes back here I have cats but you know they're not um, outside cats they're indoor cats um, I don't know what she might have gotten into um, but she was free ranging the day before which um we actually had to scatter them because we had a hawk um round up three times and me and my husband had to um very quickly scatter them back inside to their uh, run and the day after that i happened to be a very busy inside i usually come out to them twice a day um to feed them but this day i happened to give them a hefty load of feed um and i wasn't able to come out to them because i had appointments and when i came out to give them the feed because i give them oatmeal sometimes when it's really really cold that day it happened to be cold and i came out and i was like i'm missing one of my mean girls because i had i had dubbed them mean girls all three of them my three white girls and i don't see one of the white girls and it's usually freckles the one that's missing because she's usually sitting on the nest box inside and i'm doing my head count and i'm like oh okay no it's gina oh okay no it's freckles and i'm like no it's chicken little and when i look uh towards the coop i see white feathers at the door i'm like that's not a good sign and when I run into the coop, I open the door and I immediately pick her up. And I think I must have caught her at her last breath. I immediately put her chest to chest. I, I did not know what to do. I'm not a vet, uh, first time flock. I don't know how, I, I really did not know what to do. I'm literally just like touching her crop I'm, I'm, I'm touching I, I, I don't know what at this point I'm literally just trying to press on it I'm, I, I'm I'm putting her chest to chest trying to warm her up I ran her inside and at this point I, I hear her doing like little like chicken noises or probably even taking her last breath on me but at this point she's stiff we we lost her guys we lost her and I felt horrible i felt horrible i felt hopeless i felt like something stabbed my heart um i don't know how people do this um i i just don't know i don't know um these are pets guys these are pets um, pets with benefits, pets with reward. Um, they are not meat birds to me. I don't think I can ever do meat birds. Um, raise them and I, I just, I don't know. I know there's, um, they, I, I just don't know. I can't explain it. Um, I know that, you know, there's a place and time. I'm not judging anybody. Uh, I'm not. Um, if there comes to it, I'm not saying that I won't because if starvation is real, you got to do what you got to do. But thankfully right now I'm not in that place. And, um, you know, my husband was like, if we're ever to get a different flock, I'm not naming them because if you name them, you get attached. Um, but yes, but that's, that's what we have right now. It's just, um, chicken middle is no longer with us. So from the lucky number seven, we're down to six. Um, and this is where we are at. Um, so to move on, because I can talk about chicken little forever. She was the one that my daughter named 
and um, she did take it a little, you know, a little to heart, but we are moving on from that. Um, so the pecking order I think is real, but again, I don't think it was freckles. I hope it wasn't freckles. I want to put in my head that it wasn't freckles, but my son did tell me, you know, I think you caught her probably in her last breath, which is comforting to me. And you didn't catch her to the point that the other chickens probably mutilated her and, you know, took care of her, which I hope that would have not been the situation. Anyways, moving <laughs> on. Um, so... Um, you see, even at this point, they're having little, you know, spats. Um, you know, I was hoping that, you know, they would be true sisters and um, they wouldn't have that. But I'm learning as I search in the internet that, you know, that's not the way it goes. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so the cold weather, we are dealing with it. I am learning through the internet that, you know, these birds are apparently a little more resilient than what I am having it to be. Okay, this is paper, Gina. Um, so, you know, apparently they can, you know, uh, withhold a little more a cold than what I think that they can hold. Um, not saying that they don't need, you know, some type of assistant like us changing, you know, their bedding or giving them more bedding. Um, but they can pretty much uh, hold their own. I've learned, you know, their body temperatures. So you get into this and you really do your homework and you learn a little bit more about them. What I really don't like is, I mean, I prefer water than snow. But I don't like when it rains a lot because I don't like them to have wet feet because wet feet um, also is not good for them. And I've also heard through the internet that the more wet feet that they have, the less they lay. Um, I've gotten the uh, new layers to lay, which are my um, olive eggers and my Easter eggers. I'm getting green and uh semi blue eggs which is good but now that I'm getting those my little white eggers are not laying <laughs> so um, I'm assuming obviously it's something to do with the weather um, you know between the cold and the wet weather but you know as expected I'm taking these eggs as a bonus because like I've always said in my other videos um, I really didn't even expect any eggs at all you know this year so it is what it is um once it comes to the coop um the internal coop um we are trying to see if we can implement the deep litter method um and i'll take you guys in there in a few um even though we tried to clean it yesterday they've made a mess of it because they're chickens um we are trying to um implement the deep litter method because I've heard that if you do that not only one is good when you are ready to I guess clean it um, in the spring it's good you know to use it as compost once it starts breaking down for your garden beds and y'all yeah, all know that I garden here on a small scale um, it's good for a heating element for them. And as I've always told you guys, I don't heat my coop in any way. Um, even though I do have one of those heat plates, I don't have any source of heating it for them besides um, that um, rechargeable battery pack. And I would obviously use that for the water, you know, versus um, that heat plate, but I don't think that they need it. Um, so I'm using the more practical way, which is the deep litter method um, that will produce some heat for them and plus the heat that they use from themselves, which is their feathers and their internal body heat. They look so cute up there, they're little, little statues. Um, so we're going to try to do that. We have already implemented. We did one layer down already. Um, and what we do is we just turn over the a used one and then just apply um, new fresh flakes. We obviously do a deodorizer so it does not smell. And then we add the Saturday lime again so we can prevent, I mean, not that there's flies or mosquitoes out now, thank God. So I'm out here very comfortably besides the weather. <laughs> um, but we can keep them healthy as can be. 
um, and prevent any further loss um, and um, prevent the mites and all that stuff on their coats um, I also rub that inside on the poles as well and um, all that good stuff so let's try to go into the uh, coop inside and I know it's early morning but let's see if we can see any eggs because they do prefer even though Miss Gina over here keeps flirting with the nesting box but I think she just wants to play with the fresh flakes uh, let's see if we see any eggs inside the nesting box in there let's see if they let me check um, they are very friendly now that they are all laying um if i entertain them with food they're even more friendlier but they let us hold them they let us pick them up they let us you know touch them and everything now so it's an even more better experience you know now um upgrades that i can talk about um we have like a wood poking here is because my husband put a tarp a blue tarp over the gray tarp that this um, cage actually brought because they actually um, <laughs> don't ask me how they actually got on top of this on top of the actual cage because there's a net over it and they got on top of it and they started making holes with their nails because they are who they are <laughs> And my husband had to put a blue tarp that we got um, at a Benjamin Moore site um, store. And um, it's one of those like capes that you would put like over a car or something because we don't want like rain coming in here. It's bad enough that I kind of live like, it, it's a straight street, but it, I'm kind of also like on a slope at kind of, so the water kind of like comes this way and it kind of settles right in here and eventually some water does seep in so we try our best to keep at least the middle of in here as dry as possible for them if it's you know possible but when it's downpouring cats and dogs it is what it is so let's go inside the coop and I'll show you what's going on in there and so as you can see we are on the other side this is where they come out through. So we actually fought bullet. I thought we were never gonna do this, but it made more sense. We went and got one of these automatic doors. Um, not too expensive, but it made sense. It goes up and down. It's supposedly, you know, it works with the sun, but obviously we're kind of blocking it here with this cape, like I told you guys. My husband has some sticks there, so the water kind of doesn't sit and it runs and the snow, but you know, to be honest with you guys, kind of sits sometimes and that's so we can keep this area right here for them dry so when they're walking in and out and they don't get wet um but this automatic door it is amazing it works on our batteries um and we have it set so when the sun rises and the sun sets but um it's on a timer so it's on it goes open at 6 30 and it closes at 6 30. the sun here currently is setting at uh 4 10 4 15 but you know we have some of the girls here that um those two right there miss uh, jerry and miss Brittany, that likes to come in and out so i don't like to kind of what's the word <laughs> give them like a set time and be like oh 4 30 you know shut off um i like to um give them extra time and leave it like particularly open um an extra hour or two just to give them enough time to come in come out come in come out you know set their little brains because it scares me to just think that that might shut like you know on their body even though it says it has like a you know a like what is it like a defense or whatever if it senses them i try that um it's hard you know like the shut off it, it, it feels kind of hard and their body is soft so i don't know man i don't know how who designs these things but it is what it is not a bad review on the door i'm just stating so anywho's let's go in now like i said be sensible we cleaned this yesterday we brushed it out but they've already slept in here and 
it just might be a little funky so like i said when i cook is a working kitchen this here is a livable space so it is what it is all right girls come on see they done it already done they messed it up they tore it up but here we go it's like usual they have the little bars here they put their backs over there so that's where they poop all over the damn place but as you can see here this is again it's a couple of inches deep that's the floor and that's how deep it is so and it's nice and dry in here so it's really 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 good you know like you can't complain you know my husband tells me all the time he's like bring the thermometer out with you so you can know the exact temperature in here um but you know like i i never do <laughs> and you know that's probably primarily my fault but you know my husband you know kind of tries to get jiggy with it and you know build things around but he Gina just must want to lay an egg because she's like taking over all the nesting boxes like I don't get it or she just wants to sit on the faux eggs because you know even though they're laying I still keep the faux eggs out you know just in case I mean I don't know what's her gig today <laughs> um but you know when he saw that the pecking order was I guess trying to be established or was established or I don't know what was going on with freckles he tried to just give them like the low one here and one that's a little higher um did it work I don't know um but we got the Saturday lime stuff you know literally all over the place um just to make sure that you know we keep any um bugs or anything uh completely down but um i would check for you know <laughs> eggs but miss gina done just put her little boom boom in the nesting box let's go take a little look at a little look see at her miss gina what you up to oh look at what miss gina's doing oh you want to keep you want to keep that egg with you there's an egg in there but it looked like Miss Gina wants to keep it. Oh, you guarding it. Oh, you knew I was coming in here to get it. You knew I was coming in here to get it. You don't want me to get that egg, right? Is that what it is? You don't want me to get that egg? I've never seen her do this. I've never seen her do this, guys. This is a raw moment right now. This is Gina, guys. I've never... Hi. <laughs> I've never seen her do this where she, like, guards the egg. And it's not that she laid it. And to be honest, guys, this is not even her egg. This is not even her egg. This is somebody else's. She's just sitting there to guard it because she wants to guard it because it's not even her egg so she was so she's guarding she's she's guarding the faux eggs and she's guarding somebody's egg so let's go out to the light and let's show you the color of this egg let's close this door bye girl <laughs> All right, so this is the color of the egg. Gina, I took it. I took it, Gina. I don't think she's a broody one, but she's acting like it. So this is the color of the egg. I don't think it does it justice in the camera, but in the light, it's blue. It's a light blue. It could be either light blue or it could be a green guys this could either be from Brittany which is sitting right there or it could be from one of my Easter eggers so there you have it guys she gets so mad at me look she gets so mad at me when I come down and I take the eggs she is so silly I would have to look at her description to see if she's the broody one. I know there's one of them that could go broody on me, but there's no roosters. <laughs> so they can go broody all they want. Um, I made sure I got, I tried to get 
all hens that didn't go broody on me because I didn't want to deal with that. But I know there is one that could go broody. But um, I forgot which one it is. So I would have to go Ideal Poultry, which is where I purchased all of these girls, and see which one that is. Because right now, I think, I think that might be a sign of being, you know, or she just wants to vicker at me. Because every time I go get the eggs, she is vickering at me. I don't know why. All right, guys. So that's pretty much the update that I have for you guys from the girls at six months old. I would say six months old. Um, like I've already stated, um, so far so good. Um, besides that unfortunate situation with Chicken Little, um, forever be missed. Um, I would never uh, stop talking about her. I have wonderful memories of her. I have wonderful pictures, especially um, that one that I dubbed them the Mean Girls. Um, that will forever be on my Instagram. Um, you guys are welcome to check that out. Um, will I will will I ever get another one like her? Um, I don't know because would I want to introduce another chicken to an established flock and go through that pecking order and all that stuff? I don't know. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Freckles. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That was uh, too much to handle. But I'm happy with these six. I mean, I think six for a family of four, more than enough eggs. Seven was a lot. Um, but I'm happy with these. Um, as long as I can keep these guys healthy, I think that I, I, I did good for six months. And that was... Um, chicken little that incident has scarred me so i hope that i don't have to go through any of that again but let's end this on a positive note we're doing so far so good um everybody is happy and healthy um when we can get them to free range um we can but that hawk is scaring the daylights out of me and it knows that they are here and um we were outside with them it's not like they were alone so yeah i don't think that will probably happen again so um, i'm gonna go inside i'm probably gonna make them some oatmeal because it's pretty chilly out here uh, maybe some sweet potatoes because uh, we've been giving them that as well um we do some chai seed as well maybe some herbs in there to keep them healthy and um we're just going to do the best that we can while we can. And their eggs, by the way, are delicious. <laughs> if I did not say that already. But other than that, guys, we love you guys. And if you guys are in cold weather as we are here, stay warm. And as always, please like, subscribe, share us to the world so that youtube knows that we are creating amazing and likable content and from me and the rosa vlog we love you and we will see you guys on the next one bye